Spring Native had a new release, so I want to see if I could create a native Spring Boot server and get it running up on a serverless environment and see how the performance was. So I'm on start.spring.io. I'm going to pick a Gradle project and let's add in the Spring Native dependency and let's add in the Webflux dependency and hit generate. There we go. I got my zip file. I'm going to unzip that and go into that demo directory. See, there's my project. Let's open this project up in IntelliJ. I'm going to make a quick little change to this project and then uh, and then create the native application and deploy it. So I'll take a second to import that into um, my uh, IntelliJ here. But there we go. That's all imported. And now let's go open up our application. And this is going to be a REST controller application. And then let's set a, a git mapping for slash. This is going to be a public string method name index. And let's return our hello world. There we go. So that all looks good to me. Um, I'm going to just hope that it works. I'm not going to test it locally and uh, get this thing turned into a native image. So to do that, I'm going to run the Gradle boot build image task and tell it to uh, create a container using this, uh, this URL, gcr.io slash jw demo demo. And now this will uh, go through a number of steps to take my JVM based application and turn it into a native application. This is using the cloud native build packs in order to do all this. And uh, then the new spring native stuff has some improved ahead of time compilation that supports native image, uh, GraalVM native image better. And so uh, some really great support for creating these native applications. So native application, it's ahead of time compiled. It's gonna start up faster, use less memory, and this works great in a serverless environment where startup time matters. So it does take a little while to create an ahead of time compiled JVM based application. And uh, so this will go for about uh, two minutes, I think is how long this takes to, to do this full process. When I do this for my production applications, I put this step only in the CI piece of my uh, deployment pipeline. I don't ever do this for local development like, like I'm going to do in here. I leave that to my CI. I work on the JVM when I'm doing local development and doing my local tests. But then as part of my CI deployment pipeline is when I actually run this uh, uh, task like this or this task to create my native image and then uh, and package it up into a container so that I can run it on Kubernetes or wherever else you want to run your containers. Okay, so we should be getting close to all this magical, uh, the end of all this magical ahead of time compilation. And uh, so when this is done, we're not going to need a JVM in our uh, in our production system uh, because this will just be a native executable, in this case built for uh, a Linux-based operating system. All right, and almost done here. Finishing packaging, uh, ahead of time compiling this with GraalVM native image, packaging it into a Docker container with build packs, and then we'll be able to get this thing all up and running. So there we go, uh, all done packaging that thing. Now let's do our uh, Docker push to push that up to the Google Container Registry. And you'll see that my main layer there with my application is 62 megs. And, uh, and then I had a few small base layers for the base, uh, very small base operating system that was already up there. Okay, so now that my container image is up on the cloud, let's do a gcloud run deploy. So we're gonna use cloud run. I'm giving it two CPUs, uh, give it the, uh, that image that I just pushed and it's gonna run in US Central One, allow authenticated requests. So let's run that. That will now take my container image that I just created and copied up to the cloud and we'll get that up and running on a serverless environment. So there we go, all up and running. Let's go check it out. And there we see my hello world. And you'll see that happen pretty quick because GraalVM starts up a lot faster than a typical JVM based application. There we go, there's my service. And let's go see how long it actually took to start up here in the Cloud Run console. 
we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that it started up in uh, just under a second for the full, it says JVM running, there's not a JVM, in this case it's ahead of time compiled, no JVM, but, uh, but a little less than a second for full startup of this application to be able to handle requests. So, all right, that was that worked great, and uh, thanks to the Spring Native folks for making this uh, seamless and work really well with GraalVM native image, and so we can package this stuff in, into containers and run it in serverless environments and have uh, not have cold start problems. Thanks for watching.